Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Colin Kirk, and this is my partner, Rick Zaxby. We're getting ready to start and launch a business. It's called Records and Greenback. I don't only got it on a sheet of paper, but balling on a budget. Not only are we going to have the convenience of you, you as the customer being able to pay your bills, load your prepaid phones, send faxes, you know, a type of a money type center. That's where I've kind of got the idea of Greenback with. And records. Everybody loves music. Everybody loves making records. Also, I wanted to give a just a brief, brief amount of history of like where I'm coming from and where he's coming from. I started in 2009, started just recording. I just started doing simple little things with Adobe Audition that a friend DJ of mine, his name DJ Slink, What's up, DJ Slink? Um, I got really enthusiastic about digital, digital audio and recording microphones. Like, how does all that mixer stuff work? And so I just started reading books, started reading, started studying. And after about a year and a half of doing it, I made two mixtapes. And now that I've got my degree and I've worked for a while at a business that has taught me everything I need to know for money, money situation financially, and how to run a business. Um, I'm starting small, but I'm going to work my way up, and that's why I'm so glad and dedicated to have a partner named Rick, and I want to let him tell a little bit about himself. Well, I've been, my name's Rick Saxby, I've been recording audio and doing videos since, doing videos since I was a little kid, really, not really, but 12 or so, doing mm -hmm. editing and stuff like that, right. um, but I've been doing audio since I was 18, uh, I started mm -hmm. on a four track, old school, mm -hmm. uh, tape, um, beat machine, sampler, and just did a lot of rap, you know, and right. then started moving into computer when it became hip and trendy, <laughs> around 2000, mm -hmm. uh, I'd say, or 99. Mm -hmm. You know, and um, just really took it from there with the Cubase, and I've been doing it about 14 years. Just worked with different people in uh, Columbia and mm -hmm. then mostly in Nashville, uh, mostly hip hop, mostly like R&B, mm -hmm. uh, singer songwriters. And me too, in a yeah. sense. That's why I think that's why we kind of clicked on this and kind of like I come from the R&B pop right background, but I love country and drums and guitars just as much mm -hmm. you know that's why i'm still here in nashville that's not why I'm not knocking on atlanta but i love nashville yeah, exactly and making this records and greenbacks it's just it's a win-win situation you know it's going to be 20 years of experience basically combined of recording digital audio over here he's more analog and digital and Records and Greenback is the logo for now. This is what it looks like. I know it's on a sheet of paper, but I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> this is just a YouTube video slash whatever. Records and Greenback. It kind of sounds weird, and some people are misunderstood about it, but it's going to be a bill pay and a prepaid sell, sell your phone on one side of the business, and the other side is going to be recording local artists uh, tracking, mixing, and mastering, and we're also going to have one special dedicated part to people that just want to have fun for a karaoke booth. Yeah. Everybody wants to record and hear themselves sing, so even if they're having fun, if they're drunk, if they're serious, you know, karaoke is just part of Nashville, part of life, and we want to bring that to you at a fair price. I can't tell you exactly when we're going to be opening, but it will be before the end of September. Is records in green back. This is our logo, this is our what we're starting with and yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can crash that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't know. Maybe